on the basketball floor, LeBron last night, 46 points in a 100-97 to win in game number two. The good news is this. The Cavaliers get the split. They would like to have the first two because they were both at home. The good news is the Cavaliers at least get one of the two, rebound after a miserable game number one. And LeBron James shows that he still has it when he needs to. He can fire in the first 16 points of the game. He can completely dominate a game. And that LeBron at 33 years old still can do that. That's the good news for Cleveland. The other good news is they're playing the Pacers, who are inexperienced in this spot. And as you saw last night, as good as Victor Oladipo can be, he had two chances for huge shots at the end of the game to tie and missed them both badly. They don't have a LeBron. They don't have a dynamic, once-in-a-lifetime, tremendous, go-to scorer that you can trust in those slots. That's that's all the good news for the Cavaliers, and the Cavs still would have a potential game number seven at home. That's where the good news ends. Because the bad news is the rest of that team stinks. They stunk in game one when LeBron wasn't otherworldly, and they stunk in game number two when LeBron was otherworldly. And this will come back to haunt them in the next series. I've said this time and time again, I'm going to keep hammering this. The worst thing that could have happened to the Cavaliers is the Sixers catching fire at the end of the regular season. Had they been the three seed instead of the four and taken on a vulnerable, broken, and wounded Celtics team of the second round, the Cavs might have gotten out of the second round. Just on the shoulders of LeBron alone being able to take it to a banged up and battered Boston team. They're not going to get out of the second round against Toronto. The Sixers caught fire. They leapfrog the Cavaliers into number three. If they win, they would get the Celtics in the next round, assuming the Celtics finish off the Milwaukee Bucks and they have a 2-0 series lead. The Cavaliers are going to get punked in the next round. They're just not very good. Their defense is terrible. Their supplemental scoring around LeBron's bad. Kevin Love always dinged up, gets injured again last night. The young guys are too young. They can't step into those roles. They need LeBron to do too much. It showed again last night. I mean, think about this. LeBron had 46 points. The rest of the team had 54 combined. LeBron 46, the rest of the Cavs 54. When LeBron needs to score half of the points in your playoff win to just nip by the five seed, you're a fatally flawed team. The Cavs' best chance at getting back to the NBA Finals this year was being the two or the three seed, getting an injured, broken down Celtics team, and then hoping in the Eastern Finals that the Sixers knocked off Toronto and that LeBron could take advantage of the Sixers' inexperience. None of that happened for Cleveland. 